Stick that something on here, Steve. Yes, sir. That's the that's the beast. Remember, you're hooking the fish down 1,700, 1,800 feet of water. It's a ways down there, and you better save your cranking power and just sort of pace yourself because you're going to need it. I'm going to go with a low gear up now. Yep. That'd be fine. You know, to see George in the harness, I mean, it, with the rod tip doubled over and just to sit there and fight, that that takes a lot of backbone. So many people go out there with electric reels and they hook up with a sword, they hit the button, the swordfish comes up. And you have to question yourself, where's the sport in that? I can understand using an electric reel or an electric assist to check the bait when you're bringing up a 10 to 12 pound sinker from anywhere 1,600 to 1,900 feet. And I wanted to do is hand crank with a rod and reel and do it the good old fashioned way and feel like I've really been in a fight when I bring that swordfish alongside the boat. There he is. All right. He's up there and popped the bow, Steve. Right there, right here in the top. Look at it. Look at it. Steve, look at it. He's on the leader, buddy. Tight, tight, tight. Got him? Yeah. You get out of the way, give your hand here. Hang on, bud. Got him? I remember getting out of the setup, throwing a pair of gloves on going overboard, grabbing a fish by the bill with Steve, and I remember having that three count. We're pull one, up over the top. Okay, one, two, one, two, three, and pulling this swordfish oh, across right. the, uh, the gunnels in Mark Woo! 6. <laughs> Come on. Fort Lauderdale swordfish, huh? Look at no that. doubt. I'm loving it. Loving it. This is what it's about. <laughs> Heck yeah. Fun. Look at those colors. Purples and greens and I got hooked right in the mouth. It's where you want them every time. 